everyone! I'm doing a haul video! Yay! I forget exactly which video it was. It was one of my more recent first impressions. I think it might have been my one on the Guerlain primer. In any case, I'll link it down below in case you're curious, but I had gone to Goodwill that day and you guys really wanted to see what I got, so I figure I should show you. You guys seem to like hauls. They get some child just screamed outside. I don't know if you could hear. You excited for the haul too? Woo! -hoo! Anyways, I got a lot of good stuff, so I'm excited to show you. I'm glad you're excited to see what I got. Yeah, I think that's about it. Let's dive right in. Let's see what I got. All right, first off, you would have already seen these in another one of my first impression videos. I'll figure it out and link it down below for you. I got a bunch of candles from Bath and Body Works. This was all thanks to my dad because he sent me a gift card. Some program he's in was giving him gift cards and so he picked out gift cards that I would like and sent them to me. So thank you dad. It was very sweet of him. So I picked up these two candles with the gift card. They're having their two for 22 on their three wicks. As you can see, I've already been burning this one. It's so good, you guys. It's the mango dragon fruit. It just smells like a tropical drink and it's delightful. Rare and refreshing dragon fruit is mixed with juicy island mango to create the ultimate tropical fruit blend. I did say it smelled like a tropical drink, didn't I? And it's so pungent. Like seriously, I have this in my bathroom to cover up Galileo's poop smell. When I have it going in the bathroom, I can smell it all the way over in my living room, which granted my apartment's tiny, but so it's really not going that far of a distance, but I mean, I'm thoroughly enjoying it. And then I also picked up this Springtime in Providence 2014. This smells like you just did your laundry kind of a smell. And then peaches, laundry, peaches peaches launch. It smells nice. You gotta trust me. I know it doesn't sound very nice, but it is. <sighs> it's just, it's very light. Like, it's not like a very heavy scent, so I don't know how strong or powerful it's gonna be, but I like that, you know? It's not gonna give you a headache. Experience the beauty of springtime in France's province region with a blend of fresh raspberries, juicy peaches, and a hint of citrus. I don't know why they didn't say anything about laundry in here, because it should be. <laughs> a lot of the ones in this line smell really good but this one was my favorite so definitely go give this a sniff if you can and then the other two that I got I bought these with my own money because they were there and you know temptation is my master I got the raspberry peach macaron you're probably thinking Cassie it's raspberry peach macaroon well actually it's not there's a difference between macarons and macaroons. These that you see everywhere, they're actually not macarons. It's a horrible American mistake. Sorry to be all preachy about that, but it does bother me. <laughs> oh, this one is like overtly sweet. Like if you don't like sweet scents, this is gonna give you a headache and a toothache simultaneously, so. You've been forewarned. The ultimate French cookie is celebrated in a unique blend of ripe raspberries, juicy peach, and almond cream. It smells so good, and like I said, I'm just, I'm really happy to have gotten it. And then the other one is the pink lemonade pound cake. This one basically smells just like it says. Oh, a delicious combination of two classic bakery treats includes notes of freshly squeezed lemon, rich cake, and ripe raspberries. Apparently I was on a raspberry kick with these candles, but this smells so good. On to makeup, which I'm really excited about. I will start with things from Sephora. Also got a gift card from my dad for Sephora, so thank you dad. One of the things I got was a nail polish. I wouldn't be me if I didn't get a nail polish. I got the Nails Ink Special Effects Sprinkles Polish, and this is in Sugar House Lane. It was on sale for five bucks. I wanted this when it originally came out, so I threw that in my basket promptly, and I'm very excited to slap this on my nails sometime soon. Another thing that I got on sale, I freaked out when I saw this. <laughs> It's a Tarte blush! This was on sale for $14. Basically almost half off of the original price, which for a Tarte blush, hey! I honestly did not care what color it was. I was like, I'ma get that. It's in the shade Adored, which I had not swatched in store ever before, but I looked online and I was like, you know what? It looks like it'll be pretty enough 
And like I said, I really don't care what color it is. When a Tarte blush is on sale for $14, you buy it. You don't ask questions. You just put that in your cart and you say thank you. I think what happened, a lot of Tarte stuff was actually on sale on the Sephora website when I ordered this. I think they're getting rid of a bunch of things, like certain makeup products and certain packaging. Like I know they changed a bunch of the blush packaging, which I'm not too happy about. I really like the packaging of it. They didn't change it too much, but like they changed the way the logo looks. And I think they're getting rid of this color. I could be wrong, but I think they are. Basically, this is a very glittery <laughs> blue toned pink. I'm a girl. I like glitter. So I really have no qualms about putting this on my cheeks. And now this product, this is the one that I got. Well, this is what I'm telling myself the gift card was put towards because it's something that I would never have bought with my own money. And that's why I got a YSL one. Oh my gosh, you guys, Yves Saint Laurent. Oh, oh, oh God. Even just holding this, I feel so spoiled. I got the Rouge Volupte. I don't speak French, I'm sorry. Silky Sensual Radiant Lipstick in number 29, Rose Opera or opera rose. Since I wasn't gonna be swatching in store and like I had never swatched these in store before, I didn't know what color to get. Looking at swatches online, this just looked like the safest bet and I also wanted to pick a color that I knew I was gonna get a lot of use out of. That's why I got this one and you guys, the packaging, it's like so substantial of a weight. It feels so nice and it's got, you know, the nice little monogram in the middle and like it's such a beautiful, beautiful pink color. I, I, I can't with this. I'm so happy to have this. Thank you, Dad. It was really nice to spoil myself. This next portion of the haul was so exciting for me. The MAC Alluring Aquatic collection just came out. For the Nordstrom launch, I stayed up, which meant I stayed up until 6 a.m., which was painful, but you know, I'm, I'm alive and I got the things. I got so many of the things. But of course, I couldn't just get stuff from the Alluring Aquatic Collection because, you know, it's problems right here. <laughs> I got a couple of their normal lipsticks. These are two colors that I've been lusting over for so, 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 so long. One of them is Patisserie. This is a luster finish and so many people go on about this, about just being like the perfect nude and it seriously is. Like it is almost identical to my lip color, but better. I was really surprised because I've never heard anyone say cat hair in this already. I had never heard anyone say anything about the glitter that is in patisserie, but there is definitely glitter in here. <laughs> it's very subtle, but it's definitely there. But nonetheless, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous color, and I absolutely love luster finishes from MAC, so I'm very happy to have this in my collection finally. And then also from MAC, obviously I'm still in the MAC section of my haul, I got Sea Sheer. Again, it's another one I've been wanting for so long. This is another luster finish, and it is just this beautiful, corally pink. It's pretty standard in that sense, but it's really, really pretty on the lips. It lived up to all of my expectations, so I'm very happy with these two lipsticks. But the real stars of the MAC portion of this haul are the Alluring Aquatic stuff. To keep going with the lipstick theme, I got two of the lipsticks. The first one that I got was Siren Song, and this is a luster finish as well. It's a very nude nude i don't know how to say it this is what you would wear on a no makeup makeup kind of a day or if you're doing a really heavy smoky eye you're gonna nude out your lips but it's got like a glossy kind of finish almost like it's not frosty but it's not gloss i don't know it's weird but i really like it so i actually don't have anything like this in my lipstick collection so i was actually pleasantly surprised with how this one turned out and then i also got mystical. This was the one that I wanted so badly. It's just your classic rosy nude kind of shade. Super dupable. Like I'm sure there are plenty of lipsticks that are identical to this on the drugstore market. But I mean, look at the packaging. It's beautiful. It's a cream sheen. So like it's really pigmented and moisturizing and it feels great on the lips. And the packaging, you guys, look at the packaging. I just... If you can get your hands on any of the Alluring Aquatic stuff, even if just for the packaging, I'm gonna say do it. Next up, 
from that collection, I got the Extra Dimension blush in See Me, Hear Me. The two blushes that came out in this line actually looked like super duper similar in a lot of people's swatches. So like, I wasn't too concerned with which one I was gonna get, but this one just seemed like the color that would get more wear from me. It's nothing like special. It's nothing to go crazy over, but it's really pretty. So like, I'll take it. <laughs> and like said, the packaging just makes it wonderful. It's like that perfect kind of pigmented where it's not like insanely pigmented, where you have to be careful when you're putting this on your cheeks, but it's not so sheer that you really have to pile it on. So I really like this. I'm excited to get some use out of it now and the packaging. Look at the packaging. I'm so happy. And then last from this collection, I got the Extra Dimension Bronzer in Aphrodite's Shell. And this was probably, aside from Mystical, the thing that I wanted the most. It's just, this is just, I, I don't do bronzer, you guys. I feel ridiculous with it on, but this is just the perfect, the perfect. Oh, hello. Oh, did you see him headbutt me? My boy. patootie. Yeah. So basically, biased mom, this bronzer is as perfect as my cat. <laughs> I mean, granted, this is only gonna work on like paler, lighter skinned people, but they have a darker one for darker skinned people too. It's not orange, but it's warm enough in tone where it is gonna give you that like sun-kissed glow. It's got this rose undertone to it that I haven't seen in bronzers before and it's just really beautiful where I could see this being used as like a contour slash blush and it'll look really pretty, really natural and I just I'm so happy. And again, look at the packaging. I'm a happy girl. I'm very happy with this collection and I'm so happy that I got my hands on some of it. Last but not least, the stuff that I'm pretty sure you guys came here for is my stuff that I got from Goodwill. Starting off is actually something that I really didn't get from Goodwill. My mom gave it to me because she picked it up at the airport on her way to come stay with me to take care of me when I had the pneumonia, but she actually didn't really like the book, so she just gave it to me. And it's The Fault in Our Stars. I'm really excited to finally read this. I've been putting off reading it because I, oh my, out of the corner of my eye, I thought it said breasts in the corner. It says bursts. <laughs> But anyways, I refused to buy it full price because I knew how popular it was and I was like, it's gonna show up at Goodwill someday. Well, I haven't been able to find it. Yeah, finally I got a copy, so I'm excited to finally read this. You know, tis the season, it's summer, so I finally have time. So once I'm done with my other book, I'm going to be reading this. So thank you, mom. I hope I like it more than you did, but I'm curious, so we'll see. The book that I am reading right now is Howl's Moving Castle. I seriously freaked out when I saw this on the shelf at Goodwill. I adore the movie by Hayao Miyazaki. Ah, so I was just, I was really excited to see the book. There are enough differences between his adaptation of the book and the actual book itself where it's really interesting to see the differences. The one thing that really weirds me out about the difference is that I'm so used to the calcifer in the movie version being all cute and whatnot and then the way they describe him in the book I mean they've got a picture of him this is exactly how he's described and he's terrifying <laughs> so I'm like I don't understand I've got this vision of this cute little calcifer fire and then they talk about him like this evil demon like he originally is and I just it's really funny to me but it's probably not funny to anyone else. I'm really enjoying the book so far, and I'm excited to keep on reading it. All right, on to the clothes from Goodwill. To start off, I was really lucky with pants. First things first, I got a pair of high-waisted BDGs. Ah! I, come on! I, ah! It's my favorite color of pant. It's my favorite rise of pant, and they fit me perfect. And they've got the detail on the waist, and I just... <laughs> BDGs for six bucks? Hey yo! I was there, I got them, I was excited. I was not excited when I got home because somehow I think I was just like so overtaken with joy when I tried these on that I didn't notice that they were quite worn in the inner thigh 
area, but that's okay. I just, I slapped a couple patches on and they will be good to go now. Another thing I was very happy about, I got these brown cords. They fit me really nice and they're really comfy, nice and stretchy, and I really, really like brown cords. I had gotten a pair from Goodwill last year and I have worn them to death. Like seriously, they're falling apart. So I was very happy to pick up another pair to replace them and like I said, for six bucks for a nice pair of pants, I'm all about it. So very happy to find these. And then also just a very standard pair of denim, but they fit me really nicely. They're very comfy and they're covered in cat hair. So basically my favorite kind of jeans all around. This is so boring, but I liked it and it was on sale. So I got it, you know, for two bucks. It's just a nice black t-shirt with some white detail and whatnot. It's really plush. It's almost like a sweater-like material, but it's lightweight. I don't know. I just really liked it. It's always good to have basics like this. Two bucks. I'm not gonna complain, so I got it. Another top that I got, I am so happy with this. I think it is so cute. I got this one on sale too, so this was also for $2. And it's just like a denim-y type fabric, but it's a soft and lightweight denim. It fits me real good, and I just think it's really pretty. And now that it's hot out, I appreciate that there are no sleeves on this. And last but not least, the piece de resistance. I got a grandpa sweater. <laughs> There's really absolutely nothing special about this. It's literally just a wool cardigan sweater thing in a mustard orange color. It was on sale, so it was only $2. And it fits me nice, and I was really upset. I must have done this because I'm fairly positive I would have noticed this in store, but there's a big hole. I mean, it's not huge, but like there's a hole in the front. So I need to stitch that up. I need to fix that. I'll probably like put a brooch over it or something. But if anything, I'll just wear it around the house. I don't care. You know, grandpa cardigans are like jeans and shoes and caps. You just can't have too many. <laughs> All right, so that is it for my haul. For those of you who requested it, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed. And yeah, I don't got much else to say here, so I'm just gonna stop while I'm ahead. I hope you are all well, and until next time, just stay well until then. Bye! <laughs>